Hey guys, Anglorn2222 here. Welcome back to Pokemon XD. In the last part, we made it to this water room. And in this part, we'll keep exploring this water room. Hopefully no more ninjas come after us. Let's talk to this dead guy on the bed. So as you can see, Citadark Dark is not naturally, well, stormy. Cypher's apparently just so awesome that they can actually set stuff up like this. I could go up there, but can I even go through here? I can. Yay. But I'll just go this way. Oh, but I guess I have to go the other way because these guys are in the way. Maybe I can go through here if I fight this guy. Oh, pfft. It's incredibly fun to make giant waves. You guys are cool. So, I guess I'll try... Wow. These guys really don't care that I'm just wandering around? Goes to show what they know. Wow. I am actually kind of confused by this room. How exactly do I... Hmm, maybe if I looked around a bit more... Oh man, I dropped one frame. That's terrible. Oh wait, dropped more than one. Whatever. Shouldn't be a problem. Is there just no way I can get any further in here? No? I'm like, hitting A on like, everything, but I don't seem to get a response from anything. Did I try talking to this guy? Yeah, not easy. And yes, the mirror radar lost the signal. Yes. <sighs> oh, wait, I guess I can go around. That's what I should have done in the first place. Let's see what's in here. Free hyper potions. Nice. What's this person doing here? Oh, she wants to be a cypher person. Wow. Okay, so I... Guess we have to fight this person now! And that was just my classic horn falling on the floor or something. Bell and you heard it. So yeah, I decided to change my starting team up because I want to try to keep things at an easy, blah, even level and have no experience hogs. How should I handle this? I guess I'll... Hmm, should I really leave Espeon in? I'll have Ampros attack Mr. Abyss and... I think I'll swap Eporion out for Claydol here. Mostly cause, well... I don't think leaving Espeon in is a... And it doesn't even make an attack! Still, better safe than sorry. Especially when everything's faster than me. Oh wow, a critical hit. Did no damage. I'm proud of you. That's pretty good damage, actually. Guess I'll Thunder Punch Mr. Abyss again and... Psychic Electro. But of course, it's putting up light screen, so my special attacks will do crap damage. I thought Mr. Abyss was actually a pretty speedy Pokemon, so I'm surprised that Play Doh outsped it. And that was awesome! Critical hit for the win! And out comes the enemy Claydol. Ouch! 
That could actually... Oh, wait. It's coming off its physical attack. It didn't even go for Claydol anyway. I think I'll swap in Vaporeon now. Because Electro was the only scary thing she actually had. So with it gone, Vaporeon can actually do well here. Psybe. Again. And it does like negative two damage again. So. Actually. Yeah, so weak. I'm actually healing it off. Ooh, Ancient Power. Let's see. Okay, I didn't get the hacks boost, so I'm good. Wow, Lopros. Could have used that critical hit quite a while ago. Ooh, it's a Kangaskhan. And, of course, it's a Shadow Pokemon. Kangaskhan's not a bad Pokemon, but... You brought it all the time in the world to get a normal type, so... Yeah, I like Gersarang better. I haven't really liked Kangaskhan when I've used it, so... That's all I have to say about that. Ooh, Shadow Mist. That's so scary when these guys don't even use low accuracy moves. Sandstorm? Yeah, like, one Pokemon on your team actually benefits from Sandstorm, so why are you using it? Wow. Take that. That was weak. Exactly. Only one thing on the field is immune to Sandstorm, so I bought her setting it up. I guess I'll Thunder Punch King is gone again and I'll Water Pulse Blade off. Why does Shadow Rush no longer give recoil? so much but it got paralyzed which is awesome and it'll probably go down next turn that's pretty good damage oh man Ophros isn't gonna survive the sandstorm I knew it Oh well. Guess I'll shift Ursarang in. So now I'll return Claydol and. I guess I'll. Actually, I'll do it the other way. I'll Water Pulse Claydol and go for the. What? Yeah, I didn't want to double team anything. Although, at least, Playdoll's finally done. Problem is... It's probably a Shadow Pokémon coming in. Oh wait, it's Banet, so my attack doesn't even work anyway. Because Banet's a Ghost-type, and normal moves don't hit Ghost Pokémon. And yay, Light Screen is gone. And there's still a Sandstorm to deal with. Joyous. So I guess I'll, well, I'll go for the snag on Kangaskhan, and then I'll bite Banette. Eh, 
This card's catch rate's kind of low, but I'm not in the mood to try any harder, so... But what do you know? It catches anyway! Why is Farfetch'd about the only thing that I've seen that trouble catching? Oh wow, I can't leave. That's so threatening when it's two on one. Yeah, that did tons. I think I'll just go for the catch on Bannet now. I mean, certainly at low enough health. So yeah, I guess I'll use an Ultra Ball. And then I'll have Vaporeon. I'll call it. Because assuming the Sandstorm's still up after this turn, I'll have an easier time. And that takes care of that. You're seriously too much? <laughs> Something about that I find really funny. I don't know why, but... And with that ninja gone, we can go this way. <sighs> but then we have to fight you. Absol and Ninjask. Weirdish combination. Holy. Blah. Wow. That sounded really bad. I guess I'll try just doing what I'm doing now. Flamethrower and Ninjask in. You're going to die next. Actually, no, this turn, this Ninjask has no defense. Because all Ninjask is is, well, good attack and really high speed. Out comes Sand Slash. This person really seems to love Swords Dance. That was decent enough damage. Then again, Absol is like no defense, so go figure. I guess I'll water pull Sand Slash and Flamethrower Absol. Absol's down, which is awesome. Not that it was gonna be fretting anyway, even though this person does a spam Swords Dance. And now there's Mawile, which I... Wait, it's not a Shadow, because we already had a chance of getting a Shadow Mawile quite a while back. Seriously? What a better Biff its attack, then. But of course, it doesn't. Just because I don't feel like wasting the Water Pulls, I'll just Quick Attack Sand Slash and then Flame Roar Mawile. And Vaporeon leveled up. Yay! And Houndoom's gonna level up after this. And Houndoom leveled up. Well, not yet, but... Actually, that's pretty weak XP. I don't know if it'll... Oh, and it just barely did. Well, that was annoying and easy. I think I'll go back and heal up before continuing on. Because, well, my Earth's Rank's been fainted for quite a while now. So it probably would be a smart idea to go heal it.
Oh, wait, what? What happened here? My computer just froze and dropped a crap ton of frames. It had better work this time, and it actually looks like it is. Guess I'll heal up and fight another battle, and then that'll end the part. But I guess I'm dropping... No, wait. Never mind. That was actually... Given what could have been happened where it dropped like 200 frames on me earlier, this is nothing. So anyway, let's hope this doesn't totally die on me again. So back around and into the elevator. Yay, elevators! Now, back at the pool place. Hopefully, we don't have to fight any more ninjas. I guess I should change my team up. Since everything's all pretty much an even level, save for the experience hog. Let's go back through here. Oh, wait. She was only there because I was going for an item, which is a full restore. Which there's two of. Full restores are basically a hyper potion with a full heal built in. They cure negative status effects. Oh, hey, we have an email. Down with Scythed? Okay, Egon. This is really dumb. Huh. <laughs> well, that's funny. Guess I completely forgot about this room. Can I get that kind of overdose now? I can. Yay, two revives. That'll come in handy. I guess I can't go over there yet. Let's push this into the lava. I see, you want to push the blocks to dry up the lava. That doesn't make any sense at all, but then again, Pokemon's done worse, so there we go. Wait, why am I going over there when I want to go down from here? that there's no ninjas here. I think I know what the reason might be for this, though. And now, if that out of the way, we can just go back through there. Glad. This place is obnoxiously confusing considering that say for maybe an item or two there's absolutely nothing here how do i get down there so i can get my item oh well that was easy let's see what it is white herb i believe white herbs cure confusion instantly they also decrease happiness though so that's something to watch out for if you Although, 
Whoa! Nobody expected this guy. Seriously. Only one ninja is actually pretty rare. So I guess this guy's just the fire types. Vaporeon would totally destroy here, but, you know. I'll try using this speed. Wah, their levels are actually pretty high. All double team pound you, which I'm sure it dies. Ouch, that can be painful. And what do you know? It is painful. And I get burned too. Joyous. That wasn't very strong. And maybe this will do better actually. Yay, Houndoom's done! That's a ton of experience. And again, my team is so ridiculously under level that. Oh, I buy I'm switching Anthros out for obvious reasons. And. Hmm, I guess I'll shift Quaid all in. And then I'll add Urzerang. Return Vile Pool. Huh, predictable out of ten. Giga Drake! It actually did a decent amount of damage! What a pain. Whatever. I'll just double team it again since it's probably the most threatening thing out there at this point. And all Nine Tails seems to know how to do a spam dig. And Earth's Ring leveled up. That's cool. Same with Claydol. And out comes the bag. Which is a shadow Pokemon. Hmm. Magmar's alright. I mean, you probably would have found a better fire type by this point. I'm just gonna go for the catch on Magmar right now. Get it out of the way. Shake. 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 We're good. And out comes Pinsir. There's a lot better bug Pokemon than use than Pinsir. In fact, I think you can actually get one of the much better bug Pokemon in the same area of the game. Ah, that was alright damage, actually. All Psychic. Managed to burn clay off. What a jerk. But Ninetales has pretty much no health left in You Shadow Break. That's a pain. Why did it need to go for clay all I mean, Rainbow wasn't even a threat at that point. Oh, Would be better. I'm not gonna complain at this point. And yeah, it's not using Dig because apparently Dig for some reason only has 5 PP. And you burn Vaporeon. 
this whip this thing and burn screens? Oh, I lucked out there. But at least Nine Tails is fine. Throw some of up. Return should do good damage. Yup, I'll go for the catch on Pincer next turn. I'll just call it. Because if I really want to, I just can't hold it. Seriously, what is with me a terrible lot? Now it's gonna shadow Rings. Well, Ursa Rings down. I'll put him in. Although, seriously, what is with this guy and Bird Spree? Surprise, given, you know, how there's nobody here aside from him, but that's it. Well, I guess I'll end the part off here because I believe we actually have another admin rematch shortly after this point, and this part's already pretty long, so next time on Pokemon XD, we'll have our second admin rematch, so see you then.